I am so excited to be back in the studio. I've been gone for a couple weeks on a little R&R, &R, a little vacation. I'm Pat Sloan and welcome to my fireside chat. I like to do them on Fridays. Today is Monday and I usually do a podcast sort of recap. So I'm going to do it all together because I missed you guys. I was gone for a while and even though I checked in and I saw what you were doing and I chatted with all of you. Uh, it's just uh, it's a little di different when I am on a break. I'm with my family and then uh, you know going around doing other things. So uh, taking a break. So I'm back and I'm excited about it. And today uh, we just got back yesterday. So today I had to go get my birthday Starbucks uh, because I didn't get it when I was on my trip. So I got a, a caramel brulee. They only do in the winter. I don't know if you're a fan of that one, but I love that flavor that sort of smoky caramel burnt caramel it's like a burnt caramel flavor it's like mmm it's yummy so let me do the podcast stuff first uh, then I want to show you a few things because it's got a lot of mail in while I was gone I had a couple things I want to show you but first for the podcast I did today it's uh, I had four guests Emily Thompson of life so savory is uh, fantastic she does so many cool projects a lot of fabric, a lot of quilting, but she also does things like um, uh, recipes and home deck items that are super easy to do. They're very doable. Plus, she does uh, Facebook videos, Facebook Lives uh, over at her page. So you want to check that out. All the tutorials for everything I'm talking about are down here, so you can get them easily. Second, I talked to Michael Caputo, and his website is Patchwork and Paper, all one word. Uh, and you can find him at IG, he's getting Instagram, he's getting a new website. He's a fabulous, fabulous designer. Uh, he's been working uh, in the industry quite a while. He's an author. So here's uh, one, of his, one of his books, and we talked about this one. He does modern style quilts. Today I talked to several quilt makers who are working in modern style. I, I just love how he puts things together. And he doesn't do just quilts, he also does projects. And I want to show you, uh, there's one here where he has like a cover for the sewing machine and what's neat about it is it's kind of it's dimensional so there's the sewing machine cover one uh, and because Michael's uh, first career or his um, what he's you know trained as is an artist and and one of the things he's done is pop-up books and he talks about that we talk about that in the in the podcast and he does those pop-up books for children like with all the little things you, know, you open it and the book opens up like that it's like that ah that is the coolest thing ever they're like magic to me it's like how do you figure out how to get that all together Michael does that and you can see that then in projects like this where he has to design it so it folds up and around your sewing machine and then opens up and lays flat let's see next I talked to Linda Hungerford of uh, Flourishing Palms so she does a lot of modern work uh, and she has a lot of teaching and she's taught hundreds of people to to quilt through her charity work and um, classes so I just thought it was really interesting her style is incredible I just loved it I mean super cool thing so we were going to really enjoy uh, meeting her if you haven't seen her website and gone to it then Heather Black I was excited I had had Heather Black as somebody I wanted to talk to for a while, and so that finally happened. Her website is Quiltachusis, like Massachusetts, but with quilt, Quiltachusis, because she lives in Massachusetts. Uh, and her style is, is very modern. She's won awards with her quilts. She does a lot of circles, and she just, com just really combines them in a really, really pleasing way. I, I love her work. So you're gonna enjoy checking her work out and seeing, well, meeting her through my podcast. Now, if you have not listened to podcast number 400, which was two weeks ago, just, I'm gonna put the link there so you can go back over. I have a giveaway of one of my boxes of Orifil thread. And if you haven't um, entered yet, you still have time because I extended the deadline. You know, I was, I was on vacation. I thought, ah, oh, I'll do it when I get back. So you have a chance to get in on it. Now I got a lot of mail in and I uh, have a few things I just want to show you. First of all is my friend Beverly's Fabric. She, is her, she writes at Flamingo Toes, Beverly McCulloch. I've had her on my show uh, this year. There, this is her line. I have to, uh, we're gonna do this. We're going to uh, 
to look down here because I want you to see it up close because you know let's go camping right I should have had should have had these darling campers when I started that project but I just think that they are so so cute a lot of little suitcases a little birdie on there it says uh, adventure on the banner and then she has like a little bike bike uh, fabric and see I have a pattern actually that's just like the front part of that bike you can see it on the wall behind me it comes in that darker pink you know ovals I'll put I'll put a link stripes you, know, you cannot have too many stripes this is a gorgeous gorgeous color this pinky color and then it comes it's the floral like a bunch you know a bunch of flowers let's see if there's then there's a there's another print with the scattered flowers and there's a gray part of it and then polka dots right you can't have too many polka dots ah love that love that so her fabrics are just darling super super darling and uh i know that you will you will want to know a little bit about where to find them so i will get that get that info to you so i'm uh, i'm wearing my oh i probably shouldn't touch the mic i'm wearing my sweatshirt today because it's actually we came back to fairly warm weather which i was excited about because at first my dad wrote me and goes it's going to be snowing when you arrive and i'm like i don't want snow when i arrive but instead it's been um Yes, well, yesterday, late, at, late, late, late afternoon, early evening when we arrived, it was, it was comfortable. And then today it's been really nice. I took two walks, went to the, walked to the grocery store. So there you have it. That has been, uh, that has been the fun part. Coming back and it's not freezing cold. So Beverly has a book tour uh, coming up for her darling fabric. There's a, you can see it again. Yeah, so cute, so cute. So we have a book tour, and I'm on the book tour. Yay! Which is why I have some of her fabric, and I have to going to do a little something from her book uh, on my website. Okay, we have, uh, let me see, what else came in the mail? The, you want to see it? Let's open together. I know that they've announced it, but I did not look. I didn't look promise so we're gonna we'll look together well, I just got the mail today actually you know the mail didn't come we didn't have it sent we didn't have it left yesterday so I only got it today okay so here we go open it up you know how they always do this is a subscription box so if you're not um, not in the subscription box yet you I'll put a link so you can get you can get in because they are the best deal ever you always get a coupon and you always get more more than your money's worth out of here so they always have a theme so this one's called country fair ah, November so exciting and on the back is generally what your discount is so you can't see that but when you have yours there's two discounts on this one on the back super cool then they have a little booklet that tells you everything that's in here all the items you know that are in that are in here so let's see we got a little card about their new book vintage christmas i mean i cannot get enough christmas this is another Lori holt book with i don't know about eight million projects in it it is darn cute it's really really cute oh fabric oh this is nice all right so we got a bundle from my friend uh Vanessa at Lila Boutique. So we'll open it up. So we got a charm pack and then a companion set. And this means there's a pattern for this. They always give us a pattern. So we got uh, a bunch of the cupcake mix. And that's what you do with these. So they're papers and you can build. Um, I'll open it up. So the papers, you take one of these charms. And then you sew on the lines that tells you to sew on and you end up making all these units okay let's see what is the pattern this time oh so cute this is nice it's like a it's, it's not just like a little flimsy sheet of paper it's like really a printed pattern like a booklet look at that so there we go with the cupcake papers and it tells you how to make how to make this quilt 
which I, I'll show you that one, how to make that one with the fabric, with the charm pack that we got and the cupcake stuff. So all of this, all of this works together and then the white and that's the binding, you know, is with it too. So it's a whole package when you get these things. Plus there's more, wait, there's more. First let me show you this. This is one of the 80 weight um, Aurifil threads. So it's a little bit thinner than your 50 weight that comes on the orange spools and it comes on these super cute little wooden spools. These are great for hand applique. <clears throat> They're great for having a thinner line of um, blanket stitch with machine. It's a wonderful thread. All right, we got two more cool things. The, if you've been following every year when they do the sew sampler box, they do a pattern just um, that can, that's a sampler, you know, that multiple blocks all go into the same quilt. So the barn ones, I did a couple, then I had to cry uncle because, you know, I just didn't have time to do them, but they're really, really cute. So you get one of those, then we get a calendar. I love this size calendar. It is the best. Um, all of these things, just about all these things you can purchase. So here's the calendar for this year. It starts with December, which I love that because that means I can hang it up now if I want to. And then each month has a, a, a block on it like that. And let me just see if there's anything else. It's just, uh, just, you know, it's just pretty, it's quilty. So that comes in your box. And if you love this kind of thing and you love this size, I'll put a link to it. Woohoo! Okay, that was all the stuff that I got in in the box. All right, what I want to do is just take this back up. It gets messy doing this. <laughs> Sometimes I think I need the two cameras, but I don't want to have the two cameras. That's like a whole lot more work. This is easier for me just to have the one camera and just go up and down like that. So I'm doing a little bit of planning. So, um, you know, I thought about it on, you know, what happens is when I go on um, a break. I want to take a break. We'll take a little R&R, &R, rest and relaxation for those of you who aren't familiar with R&R. &R. Mm. A little vacation, a little holiday. I, my brain, I let it relax. I let it like get out of work mode because then I can recharge. And what happens is new things pop into my head. I'm like, oh, this would be fun to do. That would be fun to do. And then when I come back from a break, I generally like to do some planning because particularly December is when I like to do that. Middle of November, this year I couldn't do it. Usually I start the middle of November, but I am planning things for next year so that I, ha I know when I have to work on them, you know, because I have to develop them and photograph, make them and photograph them and do all those things. So I started thinking about planning and then I thought, okay, I really want to use the quilt planner this year. I have one. And if you're not familiar with it, I'll show you the quilt planner. So I went and I went and got that out because this came. I showed you this, um, you know, a couple weeks ago, right? Right when it came in. But I want to show you it again because uh, this, the quilt planner has so much stuff in it. It is uh, spiral bound. So there are two covers. I'm going to show you the floral cover. So there's the. There's the, there's the floral cover and it's spiral bound. So that means I can open it up if I'm working and just want to work, you know, just want to work like this, you know, take it with me because it's a, it's a bigger um, project planner. It's, you know, it's not, this is not going in my purse to carry around. She, um, Stephanie does have a smaller one that you can put in your purse too. But there's all kinds of parts in here, including uh, you know, there's free patterns that come with it and you get actually an additional magazine. So the magazine has all of the blocks and the directions so that you can, let's see, like, oh, this is my favorite one, my favorite one, my favorite one. I cannot tell you how much, yeah, this is by Andrea Sang Jackson and she did the swan quilt, if you remember me showing you that, but I had Andrea on my um, podcast. So this is her block. I just love the Firefly block. So this mag this is a quilt magazine that goes with your quilt planner and there will be, you know, the directions on how to, you know, put the block together, just like any magazine. And it's also done a little bit like a sampler so that this quilt on the front, uh, this sampler, 
I think it's Cheryl Ricky did this 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 design. Uh, you can make that sampler during the year. So if you love that and you want to just make another um, block of the month during the year, you can. But I like this part in the back. You know, there's quotes. So like this year, and in. Um, Stephanie does a whole lot of stuff if you follow online, you get the newsletter, she, she does all kinds of interesting articles and shows you how people are using this, which I think is pretty darn cool. You can go out and really check out different ways people approach their planner. So I've got the planner out. If you need one of these, there'll be a link down there so you can order it too uh, and start out your year. Two other things that I've really thought about for 2019. So I hope you're still listening. <laughs> One is UFO busting. So many of us end up, we like the shiny new things, right? You're like, oh, that looks cute. And then you run over and start another project and you didn't finish the other projects. And that's normal. I consider it normal. I do that all the time. Uh, I can't work on one thing all the way through. Uh, I get bored or I get stuck or I just, you know, want to have variety. So it's pretty normal. But it also is, is way normal for all of us quilt makers to uh, sometimes get off track. You know, you, you, it just gets put away. Maybe you hit a rough spot on it. Maybe you just got bored of it. Um, but you, you really do want to still finish it. So in 2019, I'm going to start up my UFO busting again. Uh, I've done this for years and years and years. I have lots of articles on it that I've written, so I'll probably be reposting that, um, freshening them up, and then personally <laughs> knocking mine out. A lot of my UFOs are either quilt tops that need finished, quilts partially quilted. I don't really have too many things that are, no, no, I shouldn't say that. I do have those too. <laughs> <laughs> projects that are not tops yet. Yeah, I do have some. Yeah, I, I have some of those. So anyways, all of that uh, I'm going to work on completing X amount. I haven't yet decided whether I really like to complete one a month of something. Um, you know, so so that is kind of my goal. That would be 12, but I would like to get more of those knocked out or, or given away. Just decide I am never really going to finish this. So particularly if it's not a top yet, or even if it is a top, maybe it's a top and I'm like, you know, I really don't have a use for this. Um, somebody else can quilt it, you know, and, and either enjoy it or give it to charity. Um, but I don't have the time or and I don't want to put the money into it myself. It's a top. So I have to make all those decisions. The sec, so that's one of the things. The second thing for 2019 that I really want to focus on is, is using scraps because they, we all generate them and I love new fabric and it's my job to use new fabric. Isn't that nice? It's my job. I love saying that, uh, <laughs> but it's true. It's my job. But we also have lots of incredible fabric that we already own. And in order for you to make room for new things, using up things you have is a great, is, is what we need to do. Uh, so I'm going to focus on taking some of the designs that I've done for all these sew alongs, like the solstice, um, summertime, um, the you know, grandma's kitchen, uh, and and the Marian Bright. Well, there are blocks, and every time I'm showing you a layout, all of these, I'm showing you a layout of that block in multiple. Um, to to those are the, those are our scrap busting projects. Those are the ones that you can take and and use up scraps. So I'm going to find a way to focus us at least once a month on taking one of those, and and making, taking scraps and, and sewing up some really pretty fabric we already own and making a quilt top. Because those blocks are all really easy. They're super simple blocks. So it's more a matter of getting it out and, um, and working on it. And we'll do that, we'll do that together. So, so tell me, leave me a comment, let me know if that's something uh, that, you, that you think will be good. All right, I have, uh, a lot of stuff to do here this evening because I'm going to actually have to put the border on my Mary and Bright. So I can take a photo tomorrow of the top with the border. So that's my goal tonight. I'm sure you have a goal for your evening uh, and all week. <laughs> I'm Pat Sloan. This is my fireside chat. Thank you for being here. Join me at my Facebook group, Quilt Along with Pat Sloan. And you can find all the things I do by just going to patsloan.com. 
See you next time.